Hi, you're watching Hastings TV, and we're down here at the EA Winter Games Showcase in Bloomsbury in London. And with me is Mike McCartney, who is the producer for Skate 3. Mike, welcome to Hastings TV. How are you doing? Good. You? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, no bruises from skating, I see. No, no bruises. We actually flew over here, not skateboarded, so it's all right. So, uh, all the way from Vancouver, so. Have you found any sick rails or anything like that? Uh, I do see a good, couple of good places to skate around here, though, yeah. yeah. Are you actually a skater? Uh, I have skated in my youth. I do not skate right now, but I know enough where... I, I, and I've hurt myself enough to know what I can and can't do on the board, so... Look at this, look at this. See, see that wookie finger? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, that was trying to grind down the, down the rails at school. Oh, really? Well, well done. Yeah. Whilst being really square when skateboards weren't popular. <laughs> I was, I was a sad. Anyway, uh, Mike, let's get let's get off of injuries. Sure. Let's talk about Skate Three. Um, and if you're wondering, we're not allowed to show any footage of it just yet because um, it's, it's, still, it's still under wraps, isn't it? Yeah, we're still we're just uh, early in development. We're coming out in May 2010, so we've got about six seven months left in development. So we're fairly early, but uh, it's definitely coming soon. He's not panicking. He's not panicking. No, no, panic. no, no, no. no only, panic. only seven months. Seven months, Mike. Only seven months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's still happy. Can't face this guy. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you've got the forty-eight hour days coming up, there. Uh, yeah, they're already started, actually. Yeah, really? Yeah. That early? No, no, no. Yeah, they're coming up, though. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Skate Three. What what can uh, a skate fan expect to see in the new game? The big new feature this year is teams. We're really uh, we've noticed our community in the first two games. Uh, we're doing this on their own already, and they're forming up with their friends. Friends. They're taking on other groups of friends and challenges. So what we've done is given them the tools in the game to have teams be a, a big part of Skate 3. Uh, with that means revamping all our challenge types from previous Skate as well as adding new challenge types, making them all team-centric. Uh, so you can take on teams and be ranked among all the teams in the Skate world. Okay, so when you say the challenge types, is that a bit like the challenges they have in Burnout 3? That, that, uh, sorry, not Burnout 3, Paralyzed City? Something like uh, that? Yeah, similar. I mean, we, in the past we've had uh, various challenge types, the races, we've had contests, we've had own the spots where you're trying to get the highest score in a single spot. What we've done this year is we've had a chance to revisit all those challenge types and look at how we can make them accessible to teams as well as the single player team. Okay. All right. And uh, you've always had like, like notable sort of like you know uh, skating personalities in the games. So who have you got in it this time around? Well, we're going to have some returning favorites, obviously from the past. I mean, I think it's no secret we've had a relationship with Danny Way and Rob Durdick in the past. Uh, there's going to be some new people, which we'll talk about a bit later on. But we're we're always looking to up the ante the next one. So you'll see a really big roster of of uh, of, of pros this time around. Okay, and what about things like the boards, trucks, wheels, all this sort of thing? Yeah. Is that also modifiable? Uh, you can customize your board, actually. One of the cool things, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm going to digress a bit here, that we had last year was a graphic creator on Skate 2. We could go on our website, create a graphic, import it into the game, and put it on your board or on your clothing. So with Teams this year, it's really a, a great compliment to those that, that feature in that you can uh, import a graphic for your team and tattoo your arms, uh, put it on your board, put it on your clothing, and so you're all wearing sort of your own, in, in a way, a uniform. In a way. Okay, so, so basically you sort of like your badge. Can you brand each other? You can brand each other. You can uh, you can tattoo each other if you want. Um, and we're also going to have all our usual brand, uh, real brands as well. So you know all the famous skateboarding clothing and equipment. We're going to have all that in the game this year as well. Okay, so with the branding thing, is there like a section where like you've got to twiddle the joystick so that you get the iron hot enough and then push it into like the, <laughs> like that sort of thing? Right? No, 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 no ironing. But it's still uh, yeah. You basically can pick anywhere you want to put the brand on your clothing or on your body, and then you resize it and scale it and twist and turn it to find the right spot placement. Okay, so so this is obviously online. Yeah. yeah so everybody else can. So will people outside of your team will you be able to play against them? Uh, yeah, you can play. Well, on your team? Uh, no. If your, can your team challenge another team online? Yes, absolutely. That's 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 the the big thing we're showing here. Actually, is the fact that your team can take on other teams in contests and. And what we found is it's really fun. There's a lot of trash talking and uh, you know a lot of competition, and people get really competitive and want to win. So it's, it's added a whole new element to our game, which we're really excited about. So time with the graphic design. It's not going to be long until you've got teams going around with big cocks, are you? Yeah, sure. I mean, we, we saw a bit of that in the last game, but we also moderate our, our website, and uh, the logos are all hosted on our website, so we can pull them down if they're offensive or anything like that. And we're, we're really tight on that stuff. OK, all right. So, so you don't let it get too out of hand, basically? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, your personal favourite point in the game is—is is, is it like a moment that people should look out for, or something which uh, is just like you just go, "That's just so cool." You know, I, I hate to harp on the teams thing, but the, adding the function, team functionality, the challenge types, has really made the game uh, fresh again for me. Especially some of the modes we've had since the beginning, Death Race, for example. Uh, you don't actually have to win the race as a team to win the event. All you have to do is have better overall placing than. 
uh, another team. So it actually adds a whole new element of competition and uh, strategy to the game, which I never thought we'd have. So that's my favorite thing. Okay, and uh, well, I think that just about wraps it up. When when we expect to be able to see the game? May was it? Yeah, May 2010. May 2010, and uh, where's it being released first? America, worldwide, uh, simultaneous, worldwide. Going to crowd, going out everywhere then. Everywhere. Maybe. You better have a word with the uh, Army of Two guys because they're doing Europe first and then America. <laughs> I haven't. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. They just told me so. Apparently, the Americans are going to get really fed up with that. <laughs> anyway, there you go. That's Mike McCartney, who's the producer for Skate Three. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get uh, some hands-on time with the game after we finish. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll go and get my pads and helmet on then because <laughs> I'm just going to otherwise end up with my nuts eating straddled either side of a, uh, of a rail. So, uh, Mike, thank you very much. No problem. Nice to meet you. Cool. Uh, check out soon on Hastings TV for more from the EA Winter Games event down here in Bloomsbury, London.